someone is dealing with the guilt from the past. Um, someone is um, breaking some type of addiction, some codependency, whether it's to um, substance or some type of codependent toxic behavior. And at the time that they were really struggling with this addiction, they may have done some things um, that they now regret. And this person is dealing with a lot of guilt. Okay. They are learned from the karma. This is a learn from the karma card. And this person now needs to learn how to uh, forgive themselves. Because we all make mistakes. But at the same time, if you're dealing with um, some some type of addiction, you're not being your true self. I feel like this person, at the time that they were dealing with addiction, may have been giving a lot of money into the addiction or giving a lot of money um, to other people who were just cloud hungry. People, people who were taking from this person, um, knowing that this person had an issue. Okay, so this person may have been given to people who were just around them um, only to get what they can get. Okay, yeah, this person may have been making it rain, focused on money and getting money. So I feel like this could be someone who um, may have either had an addiction to drugs, had a, had an, a, a money addiction possibly with all this money out here. Yeah, too busy winning is also out here and this person may have given a lot of money to people who didn't even care about their well-being now this person is dealing with nightmares insomnia anxiety unable to sleep this person could even be seeing things possibly because they are breaking this addiction um, but also because of the, the the guilt of what they have done possibly even to themselves and even to family members okay because this person may have had a gambling problem too busy winning here but this person may have lost a good connection with this into you card um you may have been a person who brought positive vibes and you and this person could have had good chemistry but because of what they were um dealing with it may have affected the connection with this person well this person is really learning from the from karma at this time and i feel like they're looking back with so much regret you know so this person may come to you you may feel this person's kissing ass um to try to get back in your good grace but i feel like this person really feels bad for the damage that they have caused in the lives of people who truly care about them and while they were given to other people who didn't care about them at all just wanted to take from them there you know but um this person could have while they were dealing with addiction or some type of codependency may have had some type of um romantic love affair okay or a secret lover someone who they were dealing with and was getting money from okay the moving card came in the reverse okay so i feel like someone doesn't want to move on or doesn't want this person to move on. I feel like this person is trying to move away from a situation now that their eyes have come open. Um, this could be the mother of, or father of this person. Uh, I'm sorry. This could be someone who they have a child with. Um, someone could be using guilt to keep this person by making them feel like if they do move on that they are neglecting the child or neglecting the family okay what else is going on with this person okay when you have hook it kind of came in the reverse and caught blocking okay so this person is no longer um either no longer dealing with this addiction or um this person is is recovering and getting better with hooked in the reverse i feel like this is someone who is really um moving on from uh, things that they were attached to heavily even if it's um this person who doesn't want them to move on they are they are trying to release themselves from it but um this person is cock blocking them this person is keeping them from moving on okay this person could be making up lies 
um, telling people things about this person, even though they have no facts, they're just making things up to make this person feel bad. So this person is not only dealing with the guilt from the mistakes, you know, things that they've done when they were dealing with the addiction and they're learning from their karma. They're also dealing with someone who is manipulative and their games and their um, behavior is played out. It's getting old. This person is tired of the tactics that someone is using against them to keep them bound. I feel like this person has guilt trips, um, use guilt trips and all types of manipulation against this person to keep them stuck. But I feel like this person has love on the brain. This person could be dreaming, fantasizing, and daydreaming um, and having nostalgia about, about you. Thinking about what it would be like had they had been in their right mind and stayed dealing with you. This person is very sad, hurt, and could be crying over the fact that they allow their addiction or their codependency to um, cause them to miss out on an opportunity with you. Okay, this person may have been running in the past or trying to avoid this connection, but now it's in, it came out in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want to run anymore. I feel like this person wants to face the things that the mistakes that they've made. This person could possibly be dealing with legal issues at this time, but I feel like this person loves and respects you and admires you and looks up to you while this other person is talking shit or maybe they at one point were talking shit about you when actually they have a lot of love and admiration for you. This person may have been dealing with a lot of groupies, dealing with people who were surrounded around them because of what they had, okay? But this kept this person confused because this person doesn't know real love. Um, this person may have looked at love based on the amount of attention that they were getting with this player card. But this person sees someone rising up. I believe this is you, the queen, rising up, stepping into power, okay? And that you're coming up in the spotlight. This person sees had they um, had they been in their right mind that they would have been able to um, be in your life, okay? So this person may be traveling towards you or wanting to travel towards you, but this person has someone threatening and intimidating them. Like I said, this person could even use resort to violence. So um, this person who's trying to keep them stuck may may um, threaten them, may even threaten you. And that's what keeps this person feeling stuck with his head in the clouds. All this person can do is pretty much kind of stay put for right now until they figure out what they're going to do. So their head is in the clouds here. Let me get one more here. Because I do feel like the person is going to travel towards you. Um, they're just trying to figure some things out. But just know that this person is definitely watching you. And so are their karmic friends. Okay. This person has lost a lot of money um, dealing with this addiction. Okay. And they're dealing with this person who is like looking for dirt on you. This person is that, that they can't get away from is trying to find all kinds of ways to keep this person from chasing you and bringing you this offer. So just know that this person um, is, um, is in a lot of regret over what happened between you and them and over the damage that they have caused in their own life, okay? What's the message of love here? Let me know if this message resonates with one of you guys. Yeah, balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. So you may have been given a lot to this person. And this person at the time was given to other situations. Um, they were feeding an addiction. And they may have been given to other um, other people as well. Or from what is given money. This person was um, was giving, basically buying friends, basically. Okay, so do you have friendship and forgiveness? I feel that for many of you, you may forgive this person for how they treated you. 
but I feel like you may decide to just become a be friends with this person and be a support system to this person. What else? And then you have integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? I feel like this person is going to come to you um, showing more integrity. I feel like this person's values and morals have changed. They now see the damage that they've caused uh, while they were in this state of dependency, codependency, okay? This person is definitely longing for you, okay? But they feel that the timing is not right. They're still going through the spiritual lessons and healing, and they know that at this time, you are setting boundaries when it comes to them, okay? So if this person comes in, I think, um, you know, it doesn't hurt. Go slow is at the bottom there. Go slow with this person and understand that um, they were not being themselves. They were stuck in some type of addiction, codependency, and they are also trying to get out of some situation that they have gotten themselves entrapped in, okay? So, yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. You could be dealing with Capricorn or this could be something that's taking place right now because I believe the full moon in Capricorn was the other day. And then you have take time to breathe out, okay? And then hold your vision. So hold your vision. This person may be holding on to the vision that they have of you and them reconciling in some way, okay? And this person, you may be taking time out away from this person right now because the... the um level of toxicity that this person may have brought into your life at some point okay all right guys so this is the message that i have for you if it resonates you guys let me know um and don't forget to like share and i'll see you on the next video